So far we've talked about how multiple compounding periods uh, have an impact on our future value calculation when we're only going out one year into the future. What if we're going out two years, three years, five, ten years into the future? Uh, what is the general formula for future value calculation uh, when interest is being compounded more than once. Let's try and develop that formula. So let's go to this very baseline case where the annual interest rate or the quoted interest rate or what we call the APR uh, is given as 6%. If uh, we ask ourselves what is the future value of $100 after two years, uh, we have tackled this sort of a problem in the past as follows where we say future value two years from now is 100 into 1.06 and we raise this to the power 2 and if we do this math this comes out to 112.36 as we've talked about this this analysis assumes that interest is getting compounded annually so here we are today this is one year from now this is two years from now and so we earned 6% this year and then another 6% the next year and we also earned 6% of the previous um, 6%. But now let's uh, let's uh, assume that interest is being compounded semi-annually. Uh, so we talked about how it would help uh, if we converted our timeline into six-month intervals. So in this case, instead of drawing a timeline which just goes two years out into the future like this, we again go out two years into the future, but this time in six-month intervals. So basically we start from here. So 0, 1, 2, three and four where each interval is six months so this is six months which means that this is uh, one year and therefore the next two six months are another year so that's how we're going out two years into the future and so here every six months we are earning three percent and so in this case, if you wanted to find out the future value two years into the future, you can say it's 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 2. Oh, and you have to multiply by 100, so 100. Uh, so this is 3%. And then you raise to the power 4 because in two years there are four six-month intervals. And so when you'll do this math, this will come out to 112 point uh, five five and um, notice that this is actually this this whole thing can be written as one plus zero point zero six divided by two you first are raising it to the power two times two where this two is simply how many times interest is getting compounded in a single year so this two is kind of representing these two six month intervals in a single year Right, uh, so it's single year. And then this two is representing the fact that you are doing this for two years, right? So this is this is representing T and this, this right here may be a different color. This right here, this two right here, this is representing the number of times interest is getting compounded. Let's try and see that more clearly in the next example. So let's suppose the uh, we are again trying to find out the future value of 100 after two years, but now quarterly. In one year, there are four quarters. So in two years, there are going to be eight quarters. So we go uh, four to like four here. Actually, this is zero, one, two, three, and four. And then we extend it all the way out to like eight. And so again, this, this is representing one year. This is one year. And so here, if you are trying to find out the future value two years from now, this is two years, this is like saying, take the 100, first find out the quarterly rate, which is 0 0.06 divided by four. You first raise this to the power four because four quarters in a year, but then you're doing this for two years, so times two. So basically you're doing this exercise over eight uh, quarters. If you'll do this math, um, this will not come out to 112.65. And uh, similarly, if you do this for monthly compounding, uh, then as you can imagine, future value, let me use a different color here. So future, so future value 
um, two years out for monthly compounding you first start out just the way you do with yearly so 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 raised to the power 12 but then you multiply by 2 to account for the fact that in two years you're gonna have 24 months and in each month you'll be earning 0.5% uh, 0.5% interest rate and so you can probably see where this is going by the way this is going to solve out to 112.72 uh, and so in general in general the formula then is this uh, that if you're trying to find out the future value uh, of a single amount of some single amount that you're putting in the bank and you're trying to figure out the future value of that amount t years from now where t is in our example it was two but it could be three four ten twenty whatever uh, then you simply take the annual rate first divided by m and m only to figure out what is your periodic rate right what is your quarterly rate or monthly rate and then you raise to the power m and then you simply multiply by t where t is the number of years that you are going out into the future